Hey, Sag Gang, welcome to your reading. How are you doing today, Sagittarius? This is the Sagittarian Goddess. And welcome to my YouTube channel, you guys. If you are new, welcome. I hope you join the community here. And if you are returning, welcome back. And thank you so much for joining me once again. Sag Gang. Sage gang, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I get so excited when I do my sage readings, y'all, because that's just a lot of sage energy, y'all, that has to come out. Not to share that energy with you guys. Father of Earth, Sagittarius. Maybe you've been working on your stability. Some of you have been having issues with being consistent, being inconsistent, doing this, doing that, dimming and dabbling and all types of activities and topics here. But you're finally adding some stability to that. And it looks so good on you. Exploration. Oh, God. Oh. So you could be dealing with the Aries here with this exploration card. This is an Aries card. So you could be exploring some things. You could be exploring more options and in your stability. You could be just trying out different things, figuring out what works for you, Sag, you know, figuring out what works for you. And, you know, that can be very, very difficult. You know what I'm saying? For us to do sometimes, Sag, I totally understand this. Father of Earth or Sagittarius, I'm super excited for you. You could also be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. The world, you're not playing no game, Sagittarius. I'm not even surprised. Don't even play with it, Sag. Don't even play with it because you know you can have the world. You know the world is in you, Sag, with this big Jupiter energy coming through. Don't even play with it, Sag. Don't even play with yourself like that. The world and father of Earth. Sage, what you been working on? You've been working on a master plan here. Especially with this exploration card. Three of exploration for Sagittarius. I'm so excited for you, Sagittarius. The five of crystals. You have been consistent. You've been working on your consistency. That's tough. Because I see you stressed out here. But you pushing through. You pushing through. That's beautiful, Sagittarius. And you're getting results. And you're seeing these results because you're pushing through. It's like you're finally seeing and being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Because it's hard for you, for you to concentrate, Sag. I'm, I'm feeling it. It's hard for you to concentrate here. It looks like you finally found something or a few things. You narrowed something down to, to what you like. And this could be in love. And this could also be in work. Beautiful. It looks good. It looks really good, Sagittarius. Father of Earth and the world for Sagittarius. Yes, Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sag. Work. You know it has taken you a lot of work, a lot of concentration. But you're doing the thing. You've been putting in work. It, it's been in your own unique way. Now, it ain't going to look like what everybody else is doing, Sag. But you're doing your thing. You're figuring out what works for you and you're getting results. Because guess what? You're following your intuition. Yes. Beautiful. Three of exploration and five of crystals for Sagittarius. Failure. I see some of y'all a little stressed out. I felt that. With this failure card here, I feel like I feel like you feel like something isn't good enough with the options that you're choosing. You're having a hard time choosing out of out of something like what to start, what to begin. Go ahead and start. Just start it. Just start it. If you're having having second thoughts, don't even think about it. Don't think twice about it. Just follow your intuition. That that first intuition when it comes to you know your career path, your love. Just follow your first your first in, your first instinct. 
Now, don't don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Think think practically about the situation, but follow that first instinct. Stop questioning yourself. I see you questioning questioning um exploring something. You're you're questioning your life path. You're questioning your journey here. I think this came out in your last reading. You were just questioning your purpose here. Don't question it. Just explore. This is this is where you learn and this is where you grow. This is your life path. Exploring is your life path. It doesn't have to look a certain way, Sagittarius. Just gotta feel it. Just gotta feel it, Sag. I felt that very deeply. I feel like that could really be bothering some of you. Like like your personality, your your choices. I'm getting some of the choices that you're making. Maybe someone is judging you. I'm getting someone could be being critical towards you. Be talking to someone and they could be giving you a, a certain perspective. But you have to trust, trust your own intuition. You have to trust the direction in which you're going independently. You and you can't you can't you can't always look at and, and compare yourself to others. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't compare your journey to someone else. Don't do that. It's okay to get inspiration and, and get opinions and get advice. But at the end of the day, we have our own path to walk individually. And we can't do that with anyone else. We can only have those around us and the energy around us to accommodate us and to assist us. But it doesn't have to become us. The things around us doesn't doesn't have to become, become us. Wow, Sagittarius, that was a very strong message for you. You could be very well dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or Aries. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be communicating with you as well. Could be a friend giving you advice here. Favorite one, Aries. You definitely could be dealing with an Aries. But I see you are very passionate. Even if you're not dealing with an Aries, you're very passionate with this Aries energy. Jupiter, this is your energy. Trust Sagittarius in your intuition, in your life path. Just let it be what it is. What does Sagittarius need to know about their love life? religious factors yeah you could have something that is really really bothering you as far as uh religious factors your spirituality you could have come from a very uh religious religious family or background and you may have a different religious background or not one at all i'm getting here and i know this is a, a sensitive topic but this could very well be playing a part in um you not trusting in your own intuition here don't pull a card from your lover. And you can have a very spiritual connection with your lover as well. I want you all to myself. Because this person does see you as the world. Whoever you're connected to in love, someone sees you as the world. I'm going to clarify this two of feathers. Two of feathers for Sagittarius. perfection yeah you want to be perfect you're worried about what others could think and you possibly could just want to be perfect you just don't want to make the wrong decision but when you think that way you're not trusting in your intuition you question you're constantly questioning yourself after you do something that your intuition feels deeply you feel it in your intuition deeply and then when you do it you question it and I'm getting it's because you feel judged. You could be feeling judged by family members or just by other people. And Sagittarius, to, to be quite honest, this time that you just stop caring what other people think to a certain extent. So you can be happy. And, and so you can be able to explore freely because that's what you want to do. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful reading. I'm so excited for you. Keep exploring and keep doing those things that make you happy, that make you feel free. And it looks like you have someone in love here that thinks the world of you. 
literally that thinks the world of you and i wish you the best of luck going forward this is the sagittarian goddess and i will see you all in the next reading